take out this division's consensus best striker. This guy has nasty chokes. His ability to cinch up a choke and finish it from any position is truly elite. So here he is, the Carpenter, Clay Guida. He has fought everybody on this UFC roster. He's been on the roster more than 10 years. Perhaps his biggest win came against former lightweight champion Anthony Showtime Pettis back in 2011. Not a lot of people expected him to win that night. Guida's been counted out at times in his career, has had his hand raised more often than not. Nine-time UFC performance bonus winner, and really one of the more likable guys on this roster. We'll see what Clay Guida in store for the opposition tonight. Clay Guida may have the best cardio I've ever seen inside the octagon. The man literally never gets tired. And he is also one of the most loved fighters in the history of the sport. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A wrestler, only a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kevin the Motown Phenom Lee. Man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 15 losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. tonight massive power in those kicks let's see how he chooses to wow. and really starting to make these shots count now he's in half guard oh there's a good shot from the bottom Now he's in half, excuse me, side control. Goes upstairs for an elbow. All right, well, he gets back to his feet here, Joe, but he looks like he is in a world of trouble. Joe, nice punch. Clean hammer fist. Six to half guard now. And he gets reversed. Lee gets back oh. up again. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable. That's it. Outstanding timing and accuracy for a knockout victory. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. 
landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's we'll see it here again. Watch this again here. Crank right on the jaw. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliaka has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, play the carpet So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one.